Mom reveals how teacher treats her kid. What was supposed to be a normal school year suddenly took a wrong turn for Camden Davis. When the 12-year-old boy's behavior started to change for the worst, his concerned mother did not know what to do. She can't help but notice that something is wrong with her son, and she is set to find out what is really going on. Determined to know what might be the cause of his son's sudden transition, she tried talking to school personnel, but her efforts fell in vain as the other party turned their deaf ears. Then, she formed a resolve to take matters into her own hands. To say that what she discovered was shocking would be an understatement. Melissa Davis lives in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and is a married mother to two lovely boys. Her career involves many horses as therapy animals, and she loves her job to bits. But as much as her job keeps her happy, she still has other familial duties. Aside from the time she spends on her job, she is mostly kept preoccupied by Camden, her 12-year-old son who has special needs. She is fiercely protective of him, being the devoted mother that she is. With that exact same reason, she knew that she had to do something when her son started showing signs of affliction. Much to the family's amazement, Camden was accepted to Greater Baton Rouge Hope Academy, a school that boasts of its promotion of inclusion, encouragement, positive relationships and recognition of student accomplishment. Melissa was overwhelmed with joy. She felt that they were exceptionally lucky. Nevertheless, she counted on the school to provide her son the supportive environment he needs to advance in his academics. Her joy, however, was cut short when she found out that what she was expecting and hoping for are actually the exact opposite of what happened in reality. Now enrolled in such an esteemed institution, Camden was believed to be bound for a great school year. But then, Melissa can't help but notice severe changes in Camden's behavior when it's just a few months into the school year. He started showing extreme signs of distress. All of a sudden, Camden became more aggressive, his anxiety heightened, and he even started to wet his bed again which is something that he hadn't done since he was three years old. Melissa was so worried, she asked him what was wrong, but poor Camden can't put it into words. Even so, she was not going to let it go. Before the big switch, Camden seemed to be doing just fine. It was suspicious that he would suddenly act this way after being exposed to a new school environment, and so Melissa already knows where to start looking for answers. She approached Hope Academy with the hopes of knowing about her son's situation. Melissa initially tried to talk to the principal and other school officials about Camden, asking questions about where he was seated in the classroom among other things. However, they were not cooperative at all. Still, Melissa is not one to back down. It seems like Melissa is not going to hear anything from Camden, and the school is not of any help, either. She knew then that she had to do something out of the box, and so she bought a tape recorder and planted it in Camden's backpack one day before he left for school. Not having much choice left, she clung to the hopes that the device would record anything out of the ordinary. Given that she can't get anything from Camden nor the school, this was the only way that Melissa sees to help ease her worries even though it was quite daring and extreme. She was itching to hear what the tape would chance to record until Camden came back from school. After hours of not being able to sit still from the anticipation, Melissa finally sees Camden coming home from school. Without a second to waste, she immediately took the recorder from Camden's backpack and rewound it to the very start. She knew that the recording would not exclusively record what she wants to hear alone, but she still listened to hours of the essential audio. Ignoring the possibility of not finding anything interesting in the tape, she listened attentively through it all, even when the beginning was nothing but normal proceedings of an ordinary school day. But when she chanced upon a horrifying conversation, she found out that there was nothing ordinary about it all. Melissa did not know what to expect to hear from the recording, but she surely did not expect something like this. As the recording played on, she can hear Camden's teacher scolding him for not writing something he was assigned saying, you're just writing the word. What's hard about it? While this could be a normal occurrence at a regular school, children with special needs do not respond well to admonitions. The teacher also had an arrogant tone and she even mocked Camden's struggles at articulating. Though this has terribly shocked Melissa, she still continued listening, unknowing of the fact that the worst was yet to come. That awful encounter between Camden and his teacher made Melissa cringe, but that was not all there is to it. 
As she listened on throughout the recording, she heard something worse. It was a conversation between the teacher and who sounds to be her teaching assistant. Apparently, there were no children present at the time, but they were still in the classroom and seemed to be close to Camden's backpack. Let's see what they do with him in F asterisk 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 public school. He was going to go live Oak Middle. Ah, uh, he wouldn't make it for a minute, one expressed as they talked unfavorably about Camden. Melissa is in utter disbelief. Everything Melissa heard made her deeply upset that she just wanted to cry and scream or do everything that she could because what those people did was so bad. To think that I had sent my son there every day and what had happened before that I don't know about, she shared. Once again, Melissa went back to approach the school officials, but now, with the prejudicial evidence on her palm. She thought that what she had would do something for her case, but just like the first time, her concerns were not dealt with. Melissa had gone this far, and she is more determined than ever to make something happen. Melissa can't let her beloved son stay in the terrible institution any longer, and so she immediately pulled Camden out of Hope Academy. Still, her plans do not just end there. Having all the other children with special needs in mind, she did not want to leave the issue hanging in the air. She can't imagine that the other children like her son will be left exposed to such unprofessional and awful educators. If she can't get the school's attention by merely talking to them, then she would have to do something big, she posted the audio clip on her Facebook wall. Her plan definitely worked. Melissa's past actions were in vain, but not this one. Her Facebook post containing the audio evidence went viral, and it was enough to force the school to take necessary actions. The school's principal Linda Stone released a statement. She said that one of the teachers in question had been fired while the other one would be sent away after the current semester ends. Not just that, but she also asked the Davis family to have a meeting with her and other school officials to discuss the issue. But their attempts were a little too late, for Melissa already had other ideas in mind. Melissa knows that this issue has grown already, and the meeting that the principal calls for is no ordinary one, so she decided to go down the legal route. She hired the services of attorney Charlotte McGee and is prepared to file a complaint with the Department of Education. As she has told Board Panda, no child should have to have this happen to them. Mom reveals how teacher treats her kid. I brought this to light because I wanted my son to be the last kid that this happened to at this school," she added. The school is now under too much pressure that they ended up firing the second teacher right away. On the other hand, netizens who saw Melissa's post shared their opinions, unintentionally revealing an alarming trend. As Melissa's Facebook post went viral, it did not only gain a lot of attention, it also provided Melissa virtual support from people who, unfortunately, shared the same experience that she and her son went through. There are others who praised her for the smart actions she took and for the advocacy she promoted for children with special needs. Some even shared their own stories of their children being abused by educators. Melissa did not expect that they would get that much support. Support and encouragement came pouring from all over the world, and it touched Melissa so much that she opened a P.O. box for people who want to send Camden letters and gifts. Meanwhile, she was trying to get his son's education back on track. Trying to correct her past mistake of entrusting Camden to Hope Academy, Melissa transferred her son to a different school. This time, she made sure that the educators were qualified and professional unlike the old ones. Camden's new teacher, particularly, minored in psychology and even had a degree in special education and applied behavior analysis. Mom reveals how teacher treats her kid. Camden's future is now set on a better track, but the trauma of his former teacher's bullying has not yet eased totally. Even so, Melissa has high hopes that with the passing of time and giving constant love and support, Camden can return to his sweet and loving self.